today is Thursday. Jack's taken the day off today, so we are absolutely on a roll, cracking on. Um, let me just take you into the bedroom because I even can't believe what a transformation it is already. Like, whew. hang on, let me turn you around. Whew. Okay, so we've just given it its first spray coat of paint. I've spent pretty much the majority of the week sanding, scraping, cleaning, uh, prepping the walls so that they are in the best state possible, sanding the skirting boards down, um, literally like everything from like the tiniest little cracks, filling them in. It looks so fresh and oh, clean as well, which is amazing. So this is just its first initial coat of paint. Um, so we're gonna let this set for an hour or two and then we're gonna go in with some filler on some just little bits that kind of like just shown up on the walls um, and then we'll be ready to give it a proper coat of paint um, maybe tomorrow, which is so, so exciting. Um, but yeah, it's looking really good in here. The bedroom, so the studio is worse for wears. So in the studio, um, as you can see, not much has changed. We've sanded down all the chases um, and we've decided that we're going to line the walls um, with paper. So we're gonna get lining paper um, because this horrible, horrible paint, which is latex paint, is a nightmare. Um, it's just chipping off on certain walls, not chipping off on others. And um, we're already having to board the ceiling in here. So we've just made the decision that we're gonna cut our losses and um, use like a thick lining paper and then paint over the top of it. Some bits are okay, but other bits are just awful. So um, we've just, yeah made a decision and that's what we're gonna do. Um, so this is pretty much ready to be lined. Um, I've just got to clean up in here and there's a tiny bit more filling to do, but this is pretty much ready for the next stage to have a super transformation as well, which is so exciting. Um, carpet is coming on Sunday. So yeah, this is going to be almost ready for the next week when we move in. It's so exciting. Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning. Uh, so, um, I'm really good at doing the morning updates, but I keep forgetting to do afternoon ones just to give you a heads up as to where we are. But today is Friday, so it's my last day at the flat today before we physically have to like move in. Um, and Jack's going to be here pretty much next week, but I'm back to work. So I'm imagining there'll be a lot of updates next week, but I won't be doing a lot of the work. So today, I've got a big day ahead of me. Um, my, I've got three jobs to do. The first one is taking up the um, carpet rods in the hallway and in the lounge. My next job is then to clean and get this flat dust free as much as possible because Jack is starting to move over some of the bigger items tomorrow. And then after that, um, I've got a little bit more sanding to do in the studio, uh, ready to line it. So yeah, that's my day. Um, and the last jobs I'm gonna get to do. So it feels really, really weird that my gorgeous plants are here ready for me being here too. I miss you plants. Um, anyway, uh, yeah, so it's a beautiful day. I've got my music, I'm on my own again. And um, yeah, see how the day progresses.
Okay, so it's night time. I look like I've been like snorting coke or something. Um, Jack's just doing a final sand in the bedroom, but look, we have lining paper up in the studio, so just one wall. Um, I've been doing like some like extra filling and sanding in the bedroom, um, and lots of washing, washing down today. Um, I'm not here tomorrow, I'm back to work, but Jack's here all day tomorrow. And I think I'm gonna be popping in maybe on Sunday just to see how things are going or Monday. But yeah, until then, I can't give you any updates. So to wait and see if Jack does anything. Okay, so we are moving in in two days time and this is what we are, hang on. Oh, no, definitely one. This is what we are living in, so. Literally, the boiler is in and Jack has installed the flue outside the building. We have got a lot of stuff in the store cupboard ready. So that is completely filled, but there is some more space in there. There is our fridge in the corner, washing machine, another washing machine, tumble dryer. Um, but yes, that is the kitchen. Then we've got the lounge. So there's my baby plants. I have been watering them. And as you can see, we're starting to fill up quite quickly in here with stuff. We haven't got too much more to bring over. The shower is in. So Jack's installed an electric shower and put up some panelling on the walls. So um, very similar to what I've got in my bathroom ready but this is just slightly different but it's gonna do a super treat for us and then dun, 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 dun. so the bedroom has been lovingly painted by jack he's done an amazing job getting it to a really really good standard and finish we've just moved our bed over so he lugged this huge piece of wood which is our headboard up the stairs and as you can see, he's protecting the walls because he doesn't want to mark them. Um, we had the unfortunate situation where we had a little bit of a leak from one of the radiators, but that has all been sorted and he just needs to fix that one up. Um, but yeah, that is a little update for you guys. Oh, so guys, it is now about eight or nine o'clock at night. I have got to go home to our normal flat and just literally get cleaning because in less than two days, we are going to be here permanently. So really excited for that, but there's a still a lot to do. So let's get to it. Good morning, guys. So today is our last day in our flat, which is so super sad, um, but it's really creepy because today there is no hot water. So when we moved into this flat, like years ago, the boiler didn't work for like two or three weeks or days. It wasn't that long, but this morning, no boiler, no hot water whatsoever. I feel like it's trying to tell us something. Ah, uh, Ziggy's just arrived in his new home. He's like, like, what's going on? Where am I? Ziggy! Ziggy! You're gone. He's like, I'm off on an adventure. Hello! Where are you? Yeah, he's, he's gone. <laughs> Hi guys, so I've just finished the final clean down in our old flat and I just thought I would give you a quick tour before we go, so. So this was our kitchen. I really loved cooking in here and I love this colour wall. It's like Manhattan grey, it's so pretty. Then this was 
the bathroom of doom so basically hang on let me zoom out so this was the bathroom of doom that leaked and leaked and even now has no hot water but you know we muddled through and then this was the room that probably no one hardly ever saw which was the main bedroom slash lounge jack used this as his lounge and he used to play his computer games here and we had a sofa and stuff um and then this was the most beautiful big space so mostly it could be used as a lounge but it was predominantly my bedroom and mm, smells very catty okay mm. but yeah that was it that's my little empty house tour my sad little empty home um and that's it bye bye goodbye elmside boo elmside boo <laughs>